Welcome back to the next part of our GameCube modding series. So today we're going to be installing the HDMI mod chip. Now I picked this up from a website that I will link in the description. The item code on there I think is 6117 uh, and I did order this from America. It was about $69. I don't know what that is in pounds uh, and it came in about a month via airmail. So I've 3D printed this little bracket here as well. Uh, which again just slots in the uh, the existing um, port so hopefully it will all look nice um, again I'll put the link to the Thingiverse file in the description um, so first off you want to unscrew the four screws on the bottom I didn't show that in the video but just use a game bit um, security tool then you want to go ahead and pull the ribbon cable out for the controller ports and just sort of slide that tab off at the front pull the back tab off the back and rotate around we want to remove the fan mount so that's just held in with two Phillips screws um, so go ahead unscrew those and uh, just remove the the fan mount once you've done the two Phillips screws go ahead and pull the um, the black and red power lead out of the uh, out of the board and then once you've done that just set the fan mount aside Now next up you want to protect the optical um, optical drive uh, sensor so if you could put a bit of um, tissue paper over the sensor and uh, maybe a bit of masking tape and then you want to go ahead and remove these screws around the perimeter of the metal tray okay so once you've removed the Phillips screwdrivers around the printer you want to take off these two little ones um, at the front and then the optical drive will actually uh, lift up if you've moved removed all the screws correctly the optical drive will just lift straight up and again just set that aside for later so okay so next up you want to remove the Phillips screwdrivers from the heatsink because that is holding the main board down to the bottom plastic tray so you just want to go ahead and remove all of those screws and then we can lift the main board um, up and out okay so I pulled the um, main board out and we're going to start now we're going to desolder the um, connector for the digital output so this is the existing uh, connector at the back so do refer to the back of the case if you're unsure about which one to desolder because last thing I want to do is accidentally desolder the, the wrong port so I'm actually using a desoldering iron off Amazon I think I picked this up for about 15 pounds shout out to a friend of mine Sean who actually recommended this to me because um yeah I've tried using a heat gun in the past but I couldn't I was never very good at heating all of the solder points to the exact temperature at the same time so um, this uh, desolder and iron actually um, made my life a lot easier it gets very smoky as well so um, I do recommend using some sort of extractor fan to extract the fumes away because the last thing you want to do is breathe in um, solder fumes it will give you headaches and uh, make you feel sick so probably best to have some sort of fan or extractor just blow the um, the uh, the fumes away Yeah, there we go right so uh, about five minutes the solder and iron just make sure you don't pull anything off completely just rip any of the pads um, so there we go um, just be careful um, even with my very novice soldering skills I've managed to get the um, the port free so again took me about five to ten minutes uh, you can sort of see the uh, contacts there go ahead clean that up with some alcohol if you wanted to sort of um, double check you haven't damaged anything and uh, we'll move on to the next part okay so now for the super tedious part we need to actually uh, connect a jump wire to all of the pins um, required for the HDMI port um, so I've started off I've just got some I think it's point free um, wrapping wire again you can pick this up off eBay for fairly cheap um, and I'm just at the moment soldering on a, um, a length onto onto each um, each contact um, so we don't actually need every single pin soldered 
for our HDMI port, um, but we do need to know how they're numbered. So let me just throw it up on the screen now. So this is the picture if we're looking down um, from top down with the um, uh, with the existing port on the left. So you're looking down from the top. Um, so looking at this picture in the bottom left, we've got pin one, then pin two, pin three, pin four, etc. up to um, pin 22. So there is a couple of pins that you don't need for the um, HDMI um, chip, but again, we'll look at that in a moment. So first off, I've literally just spent about an hour um, putting on these jumper wires, soldering them through. It's not tricky, but you just want to make sure that you don't accidentally um, uh, have any of the pins in contact um, when you're soldering them. So once you know the order of the um, pins, so one, two, three, four, you then need to um, jumper those pins to the corresponding pins on the HDMI connector. So for example, pin one, and here's a diagram here, pin one goes to pin number 20 on the HDMI chip. So if you just follow this table, so for example one, for some reason number two is at the bottom, so number two goes to pin number 89. That's the only one out of order. So then we follow it down, pin number three, so one, two, three. Pin number three goes to pin number 19 on the HDMI port. And it's that simple, you just follow the chart down. So I started off, I went down, I looked at what pins are not in use, and I didn't obviously jump a, um, a cable to those. I jump at a cable to every pin on our main board that is connected to the HDMI. And then once I once I jump at all the, the cables, I then um, cut them all to the same length. And then we can see here we've got a little helping hand holding our HDMI chip in, hat, in, in place. And then you just want to go through and you want to jump at each pin to the corresponding um, pin on the HDMI port. Now this did take me a little while, it took me about an, about an hour uh, to go through. Again, I was just being very careful because this is the first time um, I'm doing sort of this type of soldering. So um, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have any pins bridged or anything, um, any sort of loose connections on there. Now at this point, don't cover anything in hot glue because you want to make sure it's all working first before you um, coat, the, <laughs> coat the board in hot glue but you know if you want to make sure that none of the wires are going to come off then once you've checked it and tested that it's all working then yeah you could apply some hot glue okay so now that we've done all the signaling cables for the HDMI we now need to power the board so uh, we need a 100 ohm resistor which I got off eBay for about two pound for a pack and we also need a little bit of wire so this is a thicker gauge this is about a 0.5 copper wire so this is actually just from a like a telephone cable um, but because this is for power um, we do need it a little bit thicker so we need to take the 5 volt which is on one of any of these two pins here and I'll put that on the screen just so you can see um, so we need to solder one end of the wire onto onto there and then we need to bring it over to um, the pin on the HDMI chip, which is called um, it's called that Uvun Reg. Just there. Again, I'll show that on the screen. Now you need to be very careful you don't bridge it to any of the pins next to it, because if you do that, it will destroy the board. Um, and then we need to take our ohm 100 ohm resistor, and we need to take it from our I'm going to call it Un Reg. And we need to take that over to our
Okay, so there we go. I will we'll put a picture up on the screen. As you can see, we've just taken our um, copper cable there, going from our five volt power, coming into the, I think it's UN reg. Now, very important that you don't accidentally bridge the two pins, uh, the one next to it, because that will destroy the board, apparently. Then we've basically taken a 100 ohm resistor. Now, make sure it is a 100 ohm resistor and not like a 100 kilo ohms. And then you just jump that across to the um, DDC 5 volt. So we've done the power. We can now move on to the controller signal. Okay, so now we've done the power to the board. So we've done the signaling to the HDMI, uh, which is these green ones here. And we've done the 5 volt power to the uh, to the board. We now need um, to jump a signal wire to I will show you it now on the screen so that we can use the GameCube controller to adjust the settings on the um, on the Pluto board so the little green dot there we need to jump a cable from there from that little solder pad and we need to take it over to um, to port number 94 pin number 94 on the Pluto HDMI boards Okay, so we are pretty much done now. We have taken our signal cables from the digital output, which is all these little green ones here, and they go onto the Pluto board. We've added our power cable, so we put our five volt power going to the board to power the chip, and we've jumped our controller signal wire coming from the front controller port. So that is so we can control the settings on the actual HDMI chip itself. So now we're done, we can go ahead, before I put any hot glue on any of these points, which I, I will do, I'm gonna pull it all back together and I'm gonna test fist, 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 test fist it. Test fist the system to see if it, it works. So after a little bit of test fisting, um, we've got the HDMI port in there really nice actually, the adapter fits perfect um, I did need to cut away the metal tray so this metal tray that goes on top I've had to hacksaw that um, top bit off so it would fit nicely over the actual um, so it fit nice so nicely over so again okay, you just need to cut away this piece here and you also need to cut away there's a little tab I'll try to show you it here there's a little tab just here somewhere yeah there so you need to cut that flush otherwise it the chip won't won't sit down so cut that way cut this away and uh yeah good to go okay here we go right first time setup first time boot let's go ahead change our hdmi output back to hdmi we want hdmi 2 hopefully it will stay on hdmi 2 then let's go ahead let's power him on see if we get anything here we go hey there we go what's this uh whoa, controller works as well oh controller works hey. right so we are uh we want english nintendo gamecube now i don't actually own any games so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet can't actually play anything take a look you can see my led light mob that we did recently in another video please check it out system says it's been lost blah 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 okay so let's see uh Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we do need to enable the sounds through the HDMI. Uh, we could do that through the settings on the HDMI board. Uh, so when you turn it on, you do need to hold uh, left, uh, left, right, uh, X, Y, and start. 
So if we push all those, I think when we turn it on, uh, we don't, we're not getting him. Let's try it once. Turn him off. Turn him back on. Left, right, X, Y, start. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. I don't know what buttons. Uh, let's have a look. So it says, uh, okay, left, right, X, Y, start. I don't know how to turn the settings on. Oh, I know why. My controller right is broken. Yeah, my controller ah, oh, my right trigger it doesn't push all the way down. Ah, just can't change anything. But this is cool. Hey, we're working. Look, we're on HDMI. I got memory card though. Options. Got no game, so I can't actually play anything. So there is a way you could load up the settings on that HDMI Pluto, but um. You need a working controller so you can change the settings you can enable the audio some of the settings to help with flickering i don't have a game at the moment so i can't show any gameplay but as we can see the hdmi is working so thanks for watching uh, i'm gonna go play some games i'm gonna um glue the rest of the cables in um so if you're interested you know i'll leave some leave some pictures of it there but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna glue all the rest of the cables in now that i know it all works the leds work the silent fan works HDMI works. We are ready now. I can finally play some games. Um, next, we're going to be installing the GC loader. So next, we can pirate some games. I mean, <clears throat> I mean buy some legitimate games. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please comment in the comment sections. Uh, if you need any help, please uh, comment in the comment section. And uh, yeah, if there's anything you would do differently, then um, yeah, please leave it in the comments. So I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.